This is your GimKit homepage, and from your homepage, the first thing that we want to do when getting started with GimKit is make sure that we have a kit, which is a set of questions or terms and definitions. So we can search for kits that already exist that other teachers have made, um, or we can create a new blank kit on our own. I'm going to start with this option so you can see all the different ways that you can add questions to a kit. So I'm just going to add some information here, make sure these drop downs look right, hit next. I can add a photo if I would like to. Um, and then we're taken to our kit creation uh, homepage. And all of our options for adding questions to our kit exist over here on the left hand side. And so I'm going to start with add question. This is adding questions manually, typing in the questions and answers. This is probably the least popular option because it takes the most time. Um, but just to show you what options you have in terms of questions, um, I'm typing my the body of my question right here. I can add a photo to it. I can record audio to go along with it. I could add a math qu equation. Um, for my answers, I can have more than one right answer in this multiple choice format. Um, I could also switch to text input, and instead of having choices to pick from, students would have to type in their answer, and for immediate feedback, their answer would have to match the answer or answers that I have set up here ahead of time. So I could have more than one right answer, um, especially if you anticipate students maybe having the right idea but not typing it in exactly the same way each time. You might want to have multiple right answers to catch all their possible versions of a right answer. Um, so there's lots of options in terms of types of questions and features that go along with questions. So that is if I wanted to add questions myself. Um, I can also create with flashcards, and what this means is um, that I'm just setting up a term and its definition. And I would do this with my whole set of vocabulary words, and then GimKit would do the work of pulling um, a question or a term and the correct answer or definition along with a few other definitions that weren't correct. So it would turn my set of um, vocabulary and definitions into multiple choice questions for me. Kit Collab is a really cool option if you want to engage your students in designing the questions themselves um, and creating GimKit kits um, of their own questions. So it's very simple. I enable Kit Collab and it gives me a link that I can share with my students and then they can submit their own questions. So if I give them the topic and maybe as they're working they, they know that they should be thinking about types of questions that might be appropriate for a GimKit um, kit, they can go to this link and submit those questions. As questions come in they will show up right here for me, the teacher, to either approve or deny. If I approve them they go right into that kit. If I deny them they're deleted. Um, so this can be really motivating for students to know that they have contributed questions to um, the body of knowledge that will be used to play these fun games with their classmates. Um, the most popular option is to add from question bank. So just like I could pull a whole kit that already exists, I can find questions that already exist. Um, let's say I want to find some additional questions. I can just search addition, and then I can preview all of these kits that already exist from other teachers. And if I see a question within these kits that I like, I can just hit the plus button, and it goes right into my kit. Once it's in my kit, I can edit it if I'd like to, but this is a really great way to kind of curate questions that already exist. So I'm carefully you know, examining them to make sure they're appropriate and then pulling them in, but it still saves me a lot of work um, compared to typing out each question myself. And then if you happen to have questions on a spreadsheet, you can import them from there as well. So those are, how, those are ways that you can add 
questions to your game kit kit to get it all set up and ready to use to play games with. Now if I wanted to just find a whole kit that already exists, I can do that right here. I'll again, I'll search edition. And I'm going to see all of those same kits that I was seeing um, where I could pull in individual questions. But now if I see a kit that I like, I can click on it. And then I could copy it. So I have a copy of it in my library. I could practice it to see what it feels like to play it. I could just play it live if I only want to play it once and I don't need to have a copy saved to my library. Um, I could share it with other teachers. I could export it. All kinds of great options. So again, the first step with GimKit is to have a kit full of questions that you can use with students to play their super awesome games.